Potter's Journal travels still on 705 Pottery Highway. This is in Seagrove, North Carolina, and I'm still at the Jugtown Pottery, where I had been fortunate by luck and chance to catch the end of a salt fire in the groundhog kiln there, the last stoke. Oh, the trees we got around here too close to the building. That's what I am on. Okay, after which I couldn't help not putting my head inside one of the seven kilns and uh, climbing even over the firebox of one of the groundhog kilns asking why you don't see this kind of kiln anywhere else and imagining what was dripping down from the roof of the kiln they were firing today on the pots to create some kind of magic. Okay, yeah, it's a seeming living museum, but they do maintain a museum with um, 100 years history. All the different uh, firing methods, pots. Um, I had put my head in the gallery, too, several times. Okay, yeah, so this is the museum part. There are really some truly unique forms here. Things that you don't see in any part of the, actually, the country or the world. And this, yeah, is the Jugstown Museum, or the museum at the Jugstown Pottery. Well, there are some old jugs here, too. Mark J.H. Owens. Okay, and they've some of the family history and the region history. It's a redware. And yeah, a lot of things very sculptural looking. Bean crock.
Oh, this is just unbelievable. They've got so much packed in here. More of the candle holders, the roosters. And even the sculpture. There's some old pieces because I'd saw, seen it in the gift shop. Okay, and the cases are dated for the different decades. The redware. Okay, even a few of the antique brochures from years back. Okay, and the Travis one. And the Vern. So I'm going to get what? A Vern piece today, and maybe hit next year and get a Travis piece out of the kiln opening. Ladle, that's something. And that would be rare and worth something. That's most likely to be broken if it's not in a display case. And things that, uh, yeah, a bit reminiscent of the PA stuff. That was all donated. So I could make a trip down here in search of face jugs too. Because um, the region, I think this is the area that's known for them. Okay, and oh, here we go. The Pam Owens. Wow, and the best thing about it is after the museum, you can go into the store and buy it. The muse museum just packed full of pieces, every different. Um, piece of pottery, um, every b different style, every different technique over the years, every different firing method, every different clay and potter, pieces very distinctive of the region, the candlesticks, uh, pieces influenced by pieces from around the world, but also distinctive of Jugtown pottery, um, different production lines they've done, they've done uh, um, a small amount of decorating, but uh, very nice um, um, and uh, distinctive of the region but uh, somewhat rare for Jugtown pottery, the face jugs. Um, the most incredible thing is, yeah, after seeing the pieces here in the museum, you can go in the gallery and purchase a piece. And they're not copies of pieces from the past, but very pure and influenced by, but alive with growth and the pieces in the gallery. I think some of the strongest pieces in the history, um, Jugtown pottery history.
and um, yeah, uh, the, here we go with my pieces wrapped, my purchase on the table wrapped to go home and getting some signatures in the book just published about the pottery. I didn't expect her to run and get everybody's signature. No, that's fine. Yeah. yeah they don't mind. They don't mind. Yeah. 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 yeah, Jugscon Pottery. It's a place to stop. People that I've enjoyed mowing, knowing the most over the years, at first glance across a room, I'd said, how could I ever relate to them? They are just too far out there. And this is exactly how I came across the piece that I collected here, a set of candlesticks. And I know that this is a place I want to stop back to. And this is it. This is what I came home with. The book. This tells the story. And the pottery. The pieces I told myself I wouldn't get are the pieces that I were most drawn to. And some things happening with the glazes that I'd seen in one of the uh, books on old pots from the region. Okay, now on my table and part of my collection.